It's Alex Allman from Revolutionary Sex, and the topic today is blowjobs and how to give the world's best blowjob. I'm going to reveal what I believe is the number one tip for giving the world's greatest blowjob. And uh, when I'm all done, I'm going to be asking for your help as well. If you're a man watching this video, I would love for you to put down uh, below in the comments what your favorite thing is that women do when you're on the receiving end. And ladies, uh, don't be shy to chime in if you have a, a secret technique that uh, drives your man wild. Why not share the wealth? Let some other people uh, get in on that juicy stuff as well. To begin with, I just want to pose the question, why? Why blowjobs? Why are they such a big deal? Why do uh, women want to be good at it but not considered good at it in polite company? And uh, what is it with this act of oral sex? I mean, after all, you can't create babies that way. Why do people crave it? Why do we love it? It's not just a human thing. Bonobo chimps also indulge in it, so it can't be completely unnatural. There's been some studies that showed that men who were blindfolded preferred a hand job with lube to a blow job. And yet, there are very, very few men who, without the blindfold, would prefer the hand job to the blow job. So I'm going to just ask the question why that might be right now. What is it about blow jobs that are so psychologically good? Clearly the sensation is not as good. We'll let that hang for a minute. Every man is different and every man is going to like different things. I actually surveyed uh, my readers list in the uh, Allman Report, my uh, email newsletter, and I surveyed thousands of men on the subject of blow jobs and I got some very, very different results. There were a couple of things that were fairly consistent, but it's amazing what men consider, you know, the best technique, and there's a lot of variation in there. Uh, a lot of men said, use your hand, don't rely only on your mouth. Some men are uh, fans of the swirly tongue on the tip. A lot of men made note of the fact that the, uh, the point just below the head of the cock uh, on the bottom side is the most sensitive part of the penis, the frenulum there. And uh, of course, a lot of men are big fans of using your mouth on the ball sack. And a lot of men also mentioned they like lots and lots of spit. They like it extra, extra wet. But there were two things that were far and away the, uh, the number one and number two items that men mentioned. Number two was swallowing. A lot of men want to be able to come in your mouth and or have you swallow. It's a pretty big deal for men. I want to examine why that might be. And the other one is eye contact. Man after man after man mentioned, even men that mentioned there were other things that were their favorite thing, uh, almost every man at one point or another mentioned that he likes it when he can see a woman's eyes when she's going down on him. And I think that both of these points are pretty interesting. I think that they both, again, point out to something that is more psychologically driven than just uh, physically driven. All of these things really do underline sexual polarity. They allow a man to express his masculinity, and part of that masculinity is leading and dominance, and there is a uh, primal sense of dominance that comes from oral sex. The mouth is intimate, the face is intimate, and bringing your face close to the genitals of your lover is particularly intimate. It's extremely accepting. As a man, as men, we have a lot of shame and wrongness around our penis. In fact, as young men, we're kind of told from a very, very young age that the penis is bad and wrong. If you show it in nursery school, you're definitely going to get a ride straight to the principal. And our sexual desires are basically bad and wrong. And so when a woman that we're intimate with is bringing her face close to our genitals or even taking it into her mouth, it is a powerful, powerful symbol of acceptance. It lets us know that you like our penis, that you think it's pretty good. And when you kiss it and take it into your mouth, it is one of the most powerfully reassuring things that a man can experience. It heals a lot of sexual wounds. And the same is true of our ejaculation. Taking it into your mouth is not just an act of submission, though I do think that the sexual polarity is in there, but it's also something that tells us that we're okay, that you like us, that you accept us, that you like our sexuality, that you accept our sexuality, or even that you love it, that you're eager for it, enthusiastic about it. And that is something that is emotionally extremely, extremely powerful. So I think it's fair to say that a lot of people think that the blowjob is really about the physical sensation of the tongue on the penis, 
But I think that they're wrong. I think that that's all very well and good and pleasant. But the real secret, the real key to a great blowjob has to do with something that most women don't give men credit for, which is our emotions. That it really has to do with your emotions and your presence with the act of oral sex that really is the key of turning a man on. It really is about that eye contact. And most of all, it's a woman's open, honest, and authentic enthusiasm for oral sex. It's probably the most exciting thing that a man gets out of a good blowjob. So remember, if you're a woman, when you're going downtown, don't worry so much about the tongue techniques that you think are going to work on him or that are going to satisfy him, but instead, do what you really want to do. Go down there and enjoy yourself. I think it's fair to talk to your man and ask him what his favorite things are. I think it's fair for you to do the things that are his favorite things. But most of all, the thing that's going to really light your man up is if you really get into, if you really find the presence within yourself as a woman to enjoy his penis, to really enjoy the act of giving oral sex. If you're a guy watching this, uh, I would love to uh, hear your two cents on it. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What do you think really makes a great blowjob? What do you want to tell the women out there about great oral sex? And if you're a woman, again, if you uh, feel bold enough to leave your favorite technique, we'd love to see it. Remember, this is YouTube, so let's try and keep it as PG-13 as possible and keep this a, a good conversation where people can really get some value. And even more than that, I would really love it if you would subscribe to this channel. So please take a minute, even before you set down your comment, to just click that subscribe button. It makes a big difference to me and my ability to bring you more of these videos, and it lets me know that uh, you're out there and watching. So I'd appreciate it. If you are a man who loves women, if you are a woman who loves men, or if you are a couple who really believes that passion is important and should be a priority in your life, then go ahead and subscribe because we're on the same page here and I've got lots of great stuff coming up in the coming weeks. I'm Alex Allman for Revolutionary Sex. Thanks for watching.